What's up everybody? Just wanted to show you a project I'm doing today. Um, the project's actually going to be a DIY uh, camping shower. So I've watched a few videos. I'll put the, I guess, the source that I found um, the best instructions and kind of the videos I watched on how to make this. So this will be my version of this DIY shower setup. Um, I'm going to have a full parts list of everything uh, that I use today and if you want to go this route but I will kind of I guess link or give you um, the other two youtubers videos I used um, one of them did a four inch and I'm doing a six and then another youtuber did a six uh, mine's obviously gonna fit my whole bed um, so it'll be a little more uh, intense I guess of a build compared to some um, it'll be longer I actually have a plumbing background because that is my job so my fittings will be a little more um, up to date, I guess you could say, or a little more technical, or maybe an easier way of doing it. Parts may cost a little more my way, but at least I'm doing it with the least amount of, uh, I guess, fittings, bulkiness, etc. And I'm going with a six inch shower. Um, that way I have plenty of water when I go ride the side by side, or if I go camping, or go to the beach, whatever. I'm gonna have plenty of um, gallons. I'm actually gonna calculate how many gallons I put in it so I can give you a good estimate of what like a seven foot uh, piece of six inch uh, holds. So stay tuned with this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, anything like that, please drop them down. I'll, I always reply back and I'll help you any way I can. My email will be in the description so you can always email me questions or uh, maybe for further info or anything like that. Um, so I am building this to like specs, pressure, everything like that. So this guy's going to be as tough as it can be. Um, it'll be able to hold up to, I think, um, like 100 or so PSI. We're not going that high. Average around like 35 PSI. Um, the only thing I don't have is the hose. So I'm going to order the hose. I'll put a link um, with that product. Also, I already have the one I want. I just don't have it at the moment. So you'll be able to see what even hose and sprayer head I'm using. So let's get into it guys and we're going to get this thing built today. This is going to be the tools and material layout. There will be a full written description of all of this so that way you don't have to keep like playing back the video. You can just look in the description and make your parts list of what you want to do. Now this is my way. Um, this is from my plumbing background and resources I can get a hold of. You can get all this stuff from any plumbing supply store. Ace or yeah, Ace, Home Depot, Lowe's may have this, or if you have some other plumbing supply store in another state besides Florida that we don't have, go ahead. Uh, you can show them this parts list and see if you can get this stuff. I used Ferguson's, um, which was great because I can get everything and I can order stuff that you won't be able to get most likely anywhere else. So let's go along with the parts list. We'll start with the biggest and work our way down. So right here, we got a six to three inch uh, glue on adapter we got two of them because of how we're building it one street um 90 and it's called a street because this is a glue on just like that slips right in we don't have to have a piece of pipe like this the coupling side so that's going to keep everything nice and fit then we got some of our fittings over here uh three quarter male adapter a three quarter by half by three quarter T, and now this is all PVC, schedule 40, um, a three quarter by one inch interior threaded bushing. We got a, I know I said biggest to smallest, sorry. Um, a three quarter by two inch bushing, two of them. And we have a two inch by three quarter bushing, bushing, two of them. And then we have a male end half inch quarter turn ball valve and then we have a glue on half inch uh, ball valve sorry this is not a ball valve this is a hose bib or boiler valve they have different names for the different styles um, then we have about a couple of inches of three quarter pipe we're going to use I would definitely buy like a I don't know what they sell five foot stick four foot stick two foot stick I would definitely do that um, and then, you know, a couple inches of half inch PVC, Schedule 40. And then we got some pipe dope for the threads and sealing everything. I recommend this because we are going to be using metal on plastic. 
this will keep the threads from getting um, sealed up or gunked up when the Teflon tape that way we're not cross threading anything this will work just fine and then we got some wet fast blue glue this is all we need we're working with clean pipe here so we don't need cleaner or primer um, if you have it it will help it kind of softens up the plastic a little bit but just the blue glue itself is intense enough to work just fine then we got this guy this guy right here is going to make your life easy okay it is a test gauge for gas we use this on permitted gas lines not just permitted but when we put new gas lines in um, you put this guy on here and you pump it in with air right through here here's your tire gauge and your air inlet that you can hook to and then we watch the pressure to make sure it's not leaking anywhere this does up to a hundred um, so this is well enough and plenty enough strong I guess you could say words are backwards here sorry um, for this tank we're only going to do about 30 to 40 psi nothing more but this is what's going to make your life easy with making this you don't need to add a, t a gauge with some T and some other small tire thing this is just one fitting goes on it's nice and sturdy you won't have to worry about putting pressure on plastic or anything like that it's going to be nice brass and it's, you know, it's clean nice co uh, chrome coated so this is the only thing different that I'm going to use that people in the other videos do not uh, so like I said this is you know I have the plumbing background I have different resources I've you know learned and, and can come across that some of these people don't or know of. so we got that that's our special fitting it's actually fairly cheap about 15 bucks then I bought some hangers that I'm gonna use to bolt my shower right to the roof rack um, these were about seven bucks so fairly cheap and then our tools we're only going to need some pipe cutters an adjustable wrench and some channel locks and two adjustable wrenches work too or two channel locks i like to just have both and then a saw to cut your pvc and a tape measure and that's it guys uh, some wind's coming in so hopefully it's not too windy let me step out of it and make it a little better um and then another thing i'm actually using a gopro this time so hopefully it doesn't affect the sound too much um I'm just trying to, you know, upgrade on the video quality. So, yeah, guys, um, let's switch over to a dry fit. So, this is going to be the um, dry fit, and let's get to it. Um, here's that gas test gauge um, right on the end. Now, this is not all buttoned up, so it will be a lot more compact. Um, we got the test gauge, the three-quarter male adapter, small piece of three-quarter pipe, three-quarter by half by three-quarter T. Um, small piece of half inch pipe and then our half inch ball valve PVC now you want the ball valve it can be just above the pipe it's all you need this is gonna let our air out when we fill it that way we're not putting no big old T in there no big old fitting with a clean out cap this is my cleanest way to do this now I mean you could honestly fill through here it would take a little longer if you really wanted to um, but I got a different way that I'm filling this just to give you guys a heads up so now we're going to go back down small piece of half inch pipe now i'm gonna cut this all close i want this all to butt up so it's less fittings everywhere uh, hopefully the wind's not making a bunch of noise this is going to suck so um so um here's our three quarter by two inch adapter bushing um two inch by three inch bushing our three inch by six inch bushing then our six inch pipe that is not cut yet then we come down here six inch by three inch um, our three inch street T goes right in there keeps it nice and clean um, here's the coupling part then we're gonna go um, three inch by two inch three uh, two inch by inch and a quarter inch and a quarter by our half interior thread and then our nice ball valve um, hose bib sorry I keep just saying ball valve because it is a ball valve style um, hose bib boiler valve any way you want this does change you can do the crank one but this is so much faster why not um, so the way I'm gonna do this is I actually have a so this is a laundry hose but that's just pretty much just screw it on good to go um, so how I'm gonna fill this is they make an adapter that has two of these butted up right next to each other and while doing that I can hook a hose up to it and fill up this way that way I don't have to you know stick it in the top and reseal a clean out cap every time like I was just talking about um, with that um, I can do it this way and I'll just keep the fitting in the truck 
or something like that. Uh, sorry about my fingers, just hard growing, holding this GoPro. Um, and then what I want to get is a Milwaukee pump that they make. It's battery powered. Um, it's about as big as this. You know, this is not very, a bit, very big. And what I can do is hook a hose on one side, dump it in a bucket or river or whatever I want, and then hook the other hose to this. And then I can fill this thing with that pump and I can do it anywhere. Um, it's very versatile. So yeah, so this is the dry fit. Um, hopefully this gives you an idea. Um, so right now we're gonna go to the cut, the glue, everything. Um, what I would do is get a nice Sharpie marker if you're very particular on how you wanna make sure everything's straight, you wanna make sure that 90's down and that's pointing straight up without it like tilting on one side or the other. Um, so yeah, get a Sharpie marker, you know, good idea to kind of show you what I'm talking about. You wanna mark, mark, and then you can butt it up. Mark, mark, butt it up, mark, mark, butt it up. And that way everything's straight where it sits. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go straight to the cutting. Let's go. Alright, so we're day two on this. Um, I'm just being real with you guys on this, so we're not going to do like a, hey, I cut it up, this is final product kind of thing. Um, so, as you can see, I didn't really think about it, but a way how I have, how I built mine is it's got to have a drain plug. If not, you'd have to tilt it every time to drain it out, or you could use a shop back. But what I did is I got this little guy. It's a little boat plug. Um, you can use it on jet skis, John boats, boats, whatever. But what it does is this little thread here tightens down and compresses this ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did with this, and you can see if it's something you want to do. Like I said, this is my project. You can tweak it however you want. I'm just giving you guidelines on how to do it. And there's the other two videos that I keep talking about. I'll put their info down there so you can see theirs and you could come up with your own idea. So I'll show you what I did. So this is what I did. Obviously, young C. I ended up painting it black. Um, I did a little clear coat on it, matte black, cheap paint, spray paint. Um, I'm thinking about bedlining it um, with a can bedline, so I'm still on the fence of that. But for right now, just black spray paint, cheapo flat, and then um, a clear um, gloss clear coat. So this is what I did. Um, I got this guy, like I was saying, um, it does up to one inch, but I did a paddle bit, which I would go with a normal round bit. Um, it would just make it a lot cleaner. But you need about a 3 8 to 3 16 bit to get this thing in there um, without having to struggle too much by cramming it in there. Um, but pretty much, you just get it all down in there, and that's it. And you just twist, 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 twist until it compresses that ring. A washer compresses it up and seals all the way around. And that's it. And this will be obviously on the bottom. Um, and then I can get to it at any time I want and drain it whenever I'm done. And so what I got here is my hose setup. Um, I got a nice air compressor style coil um, water hose and then a, a soaker slash shower head sprayer. Um, I'll put the link and everything I got where I got that. And then also I got this guy right here. It's a female to female bit. This is what I was talking about. It'll go on here and then you can hook any male end on that side. So when you go to fill the tank, all I gotta do is hook my hose up to that and it'll completely fill the tank for me. And what I did is I went on to Walmart. I've had this, I think it was like eight bucks. It's a waterproof bag. Um, I've just had it laying around. So what I'm gonna do is make it my little shower kit bag. So whenever everything's wet or whatever like that, I can put it in this bag and not worry about getting anything else wet. Um, I'll see if I can find the info to that from Walmart or just online, I'll find ones similar, and I'll put it in the description. But yeah, guys, here it is. Ooh. Got some really nice pressure here. 
wash off my truck while I'm at it. Nice soaker feature. Here it is. Um, it took me about two days to do it with me going to work every day, coming home and doing it at the end. And with the trip I had to make to O'Reilly's to get paint, um, to get the, the boat stop. Um, so yeah, so it took a little bit, um, but hey, I got it done. You don't gotta get it done in one day. You don't have to get it done in 30 minutes, an hour. Um, take your time on it, put it to the side, work on it bit by bit. Um, it is not a hard project. Um, it is time consuming, especially if you're doing it by yourself. It's always nice to have help. You can speed up the process. Um, but I did this whole project by myself. Um, I had a little help from my fiance at the end when I was trying to get a fitting on. Uh, but that's it. It is doable. You don't have to have a you know a whole crew to help you build this thing. Um, it's fairly cheap compared to some of the other ones. The big ones cost two times as much as what I paid for the parts for this. Thing. Um, you know, I'm gonna do me. Um, I'm just going to be me. You know what I mean? That's what you guys need to do. Um, do what you want to do. You know, if one day you want to have this and that and that, but next day you want to change, do it. That, that's what it's about. Um, don't worry about what people think. You know, if you go up to rides or meets or whatever, you know, you're, you're into, um, don't worry about of other people judging you or anything like that. You build what you want to build. You use what you need to use. You know what you need. Um, they don't. You know what I mean? So the whole thing is get out, do something, go adventure, go exploring. Um, you don't have to drive five hours to go do that. There's all kinds of stuff even in your own backyard. You know what I mean? I went, did a little adventure by building this. You know what I mean? Um, I did some research. I did all this. I went parts hunting all that it's an adventure in itself so that's what you guys got to do um, if you have any questions anything like that feel free to leave a comment um, you know always like and subscribe um, definitely way more active on this channel so if you want to hit the notification button that would be awesome